Hey gang, I'm at Bohemian National Cemetery today and we're doing a circle back on a gravestone that we purchased for the little feller. It finally came in. Now if you haven't seen the episode of the Eastland disaster, go check this link out. I will put up and I also put a link down in the description box actually at the timestamp of where this part of the story starts so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want but that part is at the end of the episode where we talk about one of the last victims found. I just got back from Florida and our friend Britton sent me an image of the stone and let me know that it came in, so thanks Britton for that notice. Little Willie, Willie Novotny was only seven years old. He was with his family on the SS Eastland and if any of you know the story the boat had some weight and balance issues people running on one side or the other anyway the boat rolled over in the Chicago River and sank with a lot of people inside it was a cold rainy day trapped and drowned horrific story and little Willie again you can go to the episode to hear all the details I'm not going to retell them here but generally speaking he was one of the last victims found in the river. His family was found earlier. His sister, his parents, they're all wiped out. There's actually five of them here. His older sister, Lily, had died a few years before. And he, he was nicknamed the Little Feller. They couldn't figure out who he was. And when two schoolmates identified him, his uncle said, no, that's not him. And it took his grandmother, it took his grandmother to finally come in with his, he was wearing his Sunday best outfit, as all the others were. It was a big day, they were going to cross Lake Michigan, it was a holiday, it was a company outing. They were, many of them, employees, the families, and they were all dressed, you know, in those days, not like today, even for something that wasn't as big that you you would dress you would always dress up to your best and he had these little brown knickerbockers on and that was really the way they were able his grandmother was able to identify him so let me show you the stone it is it really turned out good and I'm really happy with it it's been a while we've been waiting for it for quite some time and there it is, Willem, William Willem Willie Novotny. And I had that inscription put here, carried home to Jesus. And I also picked out this babe in the angel's arms. And there it is. There's the picture. Look at that. It's not porcelain, but it is like a, um, well, actually, you know what? It is. I wanted porcelain, and it actually is. Look at that. That really turned out good. And it's embedded flush with the stone. Very nice detail work. Hats off to Bohemian National Cemetery staff here for making this happen. If you see the episode, you can see where everybody is buried here. So next to Willie on the right is his father. To the right of his father is his mother and then his sister. Little Mamie, so it's James, Agnes, and Mamie. And then Lily, well you can see in the episode Lily is older sister she's up here so they're all here and thanks to you all you made this happen I'm really excited that we were able to do this it took a long time these things take time but thanks to all the patreon folks the super chats people who sent in money people who sent PayPal you're all responsible for this hats off to all of you we all did this together and this will close the chapter of the Novotny family getting Willie a stone. Maybe we'll see about the other family members. You know, I, I wonder, you think about the pictures. 
of the family, you think about where are they? You know, the only reason we have Willie's picture is because it was in the newspaper. And the family got wiped out. All that was left was the grandmother. And of course she passed on probably not too much longer, not too much later. And you wonder what happened to all the pictures, the family pictures. I mean, if, if this didn't happen, Willie's growing up as others, you know, Mamie's growing up, they're having a family, grandchildren. We have the pictures. But as I always say, it's lost to the sands of time. So sad. Not unlike all the other families, many of the other families that were wiped out in this disaster. And really not unlike the story that as you look out across any cemetery and you look across all these stones, all of those stories, Many of them are lost to the sands of time. We'll never know what happened in their lives and all the happy days, the sad days, the trips, the accomplishments, the triumphs, the losses. Lost to the sands of time.